All right, gang, so we are back here with another one of these cases of bilateral disease. A patient would come in with bilateral um, foot wounds, one on his toe here, you can barely see anymore, fully healed very nicely, one on the fifth toe here, also fully healed now. Honestly, the feet are both looking great. This was what I call the new disease now. He had palpable pulses at his popular artery bilaterally, terrible flows going down to the feet, and the only thing that was an option was really these popliteal to distal bypasses. He needed reversed vein in both of them because he had uh, unfortunately not had in situ options that were available here. So we have a popliteal to anterior tibial running through the interosseous membrane here again an anatomic tunnel when you're limited for vein length and you can avoid crossing over that bone that's always great on this side here it was to the pta so this is just a tunnel from the popliteal down to here a single jackson tunneler no problem there for a reverse bypass we are currently one year post off on this side and about 10 months if i'm not mistaken on this side No wounds, he's doing great. Complains about a little claudication here still because that's what tibial disease is. We're not actually getting too great of a retrograde flow into the calf here, but you know, what do you want to treat? You just do your distal or endo work here or whatever, you end up losing the foot. And oh yeah, you got a little more flow here, but the foot is what we need here, you know? His claudication is not bothering him. He's not amputated. That's what he's happy about.